Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the garage. Who out there has ever seen a little setup like this? Uh, you loop the heater hose right back into the water pump. Uh, you may have done it yourself. Maybe somebody else had it that you saw. Uh, or possibly the bolt shoved in the end of the heater hose with a uh, worm clamp and put it on there. That works too. I've probably done that in the past. And then more recently, the bypass cap. Stick it on there, use a screw clamp, a worm clamp, whatever. That's a little bit cleaner. Uh, they tend to uh, get brittle, dry rotted, crack, start seeping coolant. Uh, for whatever reason, you wanna eliminate your heater hoses, whether your heater core was leaking or you just want to clean up the engine bay. Maybe in my case, I just didn't have a heater box anymore. Didn't need heater hoses and the heater hoses actually laid right on the fuel line. So I was trying to keep the fuel a little cooler. Uh, that's why I put that on. Uh, today I wanted to do a little video on how to maybe do a little, do this a little cleaner looking, maybe a little more professional than just a uh, bolt or a spark plug or whatever you have shoved in a piece of heater hose or just heater hose looped from one to the other. So I'll go through this video and uh, show the steps that I took to make this a, a little bit better than I think than uh, maybe some of these alternatives. Okay, once you have the water pump off, this is what you're gonna need. Uh, this is a kit from Harbor Freight. It's a pipe tap kit. Uh, you're gonna need some pipe plugs. Obviously this one is a quarter inch. This one is the half inch. They go in the right there in the respective uh, holes that you're going to be tapping out. Uh, you're gonna need like a, either a square socket or a 12 point socket or something, so. And then once you tap these out, you just wanna go really slow, back, take them in and back them out and clean the threads out. So you uh, don't crack the water pump housing. Okay, I got the small heater hose one plugged off now. I like to uh, put some pipe tape around the threads or some of the liquid pipe sealer around the threads. And I like to run it in so it's just pretty much flush. Uh, when you're tapping that, definitely go really slow once you're pretty far in because you can crack this housing. Uh, next, I'm gonna do this bigger one. Like I said, it's the half inch size uh, pipe tap got the plug and do the same procedure on that one Okay, we got that second one all tapped out. I've got the half inch pipe plug installed with the thread tape. I'm going to clean off the gasket surface really good. And uh, obviously you wanna clean out the water pump. You don't want any of those aluminum shavings uh, going throughout your cooling system. I think this is a lot more of a cleaner look and some of the alternatives uh, for the bypass hole in the intake manifold. I got this plug, it's a, I believe that's a three quarter inch pipe thread. It actually came out of a uh, Ford V6 and instead of having freeze plugs, they have a couple of these along the side of the block. So I'll be using, I'm gonna clean that up and use that up in the intake manifold so I won't have the heater hose and the 
the bypass hose and obviously the other small heater hose in the intake manifold is plugged with another uh, quarter inch plug. So get this all cleaned up first and then I'll be able to get it back on. All right, I'm back at home. I'm gonna put the water pump back on. All right, the final thing to do is take your uh, thermostat bypass fitting off and screw in that big uh, three quarter inch pipe plug. And of course I forgot to bring the actual big Allen socket I have at work home. So I'm doing it the broke ass way by sticking a nut inside there and turning the, with a box end. That's as tight as she's gonna get. I'll probably have to bring the actual correct tool home and do that, but I think uh, it's a lot cleaner, more professional looking than uh, having pieces of heater hose, you know, stuck on in here. And the nice thing about this is, if you ever want to go back to having heater core, all this stuff just unthreads out. You didn't change anything with the water pump. You can put your fitting back in there you can put your bypass hose back on and your heater hoses back on if you choose to uh, go back to having that heater core so really pretty simple it was a quick video just showing how easy it is you just got to take your time when you're tapping these uh, some intake manifolds don't even have this hole if they're a single plane so you might not even have to worry about getting that big plug I'm sure that could be acquired at maybe Lowe's or Home Depot or like a plumbing store. So I uh, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, it was just a quick little video and just to show you how easy it can be to make it just a little bit better there if you're going to eliminate your heater hoses. And I'm sure it can be done on, you know, Chevrolet, Ford. I mean, obviously it's a small block Chrysler, but uh, I think it would apply to any of them. So, all right, uh, till next time. Catch you then.